Russian aircraft, particularly those from the Soviet era, have long held a mixed reputation globally. While Russia has produced notable advancements in aviation, the widespread perception of Russian planes is often marred by concerns over outdated technology, safety records, and maintenance standards. The complexities behind this reputation stem from a combination of historical, technological, and political factors, all of which have contributed to a lingering skepticism regarding the reliability and safety of Russian-made planes. In this video, we are going to examine the roots of this reputation and the efforts to modernize Russian aviation. One of the primary factors contributing to the negative reputation of Russian planes is their association with older Soviet-era technology. Many of the aircraft still in service today, particularly in smaller airlines or developing regions, were designed during the Soviet Union's height. During this time, Russian engineers focused on producing rugged and simple designs, prioritizing durability over passenger comfort or cutting-edge technology. Planes such as the Tupolev Tu-154 and Antonov N-24 are prime examples of this approach. While these aircraft were effective for the conditions they were designed for, such as harsh weather or limited infrastructure, they have become outdated compared to modern Western aircraft. As aviation technology progressed in the West, Soviet planes struggled to keep pace with advancements in aerodynamics, avionics, and passenger amenities. This technological lag has contributed to the perception that Russian planes are less safe or comfortable, especially when compared to more modern models from Boeing or Airbus. While these older planes served their purpose during their time, their continued use in certain regions today has only reinforced their association with outdated technology. Another significant factor behind the negative reputation of Russian planes lies in maintenance standards. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in the early 1990s, the Russian aviation industry suffered from a lack of funding and proper oversight. This economic turmoil led to reduced maintenance of aircraft, inadequate safety regulations, and a, a general decline in the quality of airport infrastructure. As a result, Russian planes were often seen as unreliable and prone to accidents, further cementing their bad reputation. In some regions, particularly in developing countries, airlines continue to operate Soviet-era aircraft with limited access to spare parts and proper maintenance. The lack of a robust global infrastructure for Russian aircraft, unlike the well-established maintenance networks for Western models, exacerbates this issue. Consequently, some of these planes, though rugged by design, face increased risk of mechanical failures or accidents due to insufficient upkeep. The historical safety record of Russian aircraft has also played a crucial role in shaping their reputation. Russian planes, especially in the 1990s and early 2000s, had a higher accident rate than their Western counterparts. Many of these incidents occurred during a time of economic instability and declining safety standards in the post-Soviet era. High-profile crashes involving Soviet-era planes, particularly in developing countries with lower safety regulations, captured media attention and fueled concerns about the reliability of Russian aircraft. Public perception, heavily influenced by these accidents, tends to generalize the safety of all Russian planes based on the worst cases. This has overshadowed the fact that many Russian aircraft are still operational in regions where they are suited for harsh environments and rough terrains. Despite these positive aspects, the global public's memory often remains tied to images of past tragedies. The Cold War rivalry between the Soviet Union and the West also played a significant role in shaping the perception of Russian planes. During this period, there was a concerted effort in Western media to portray Soviet technology, including aircraft as inferior to American and European products. While some of these criticisms were rooted in genuine differences in design philosophy and technology, others were influenced by the ideological divide between East and West. This political bias has had a lasting impact on how Russian planes are viewed in the West. Even after the Cold War, this legacy continues to influence the perception of Russian aircraft, with many associating them with a bygone era of inferior Soviet engineering. However, this view is often an oversimplification, as Russian aviation has made significant strides in modernizing its fleet and improving safety standards. Despite the negative reputation that lingers around Russian planes, modern Russian aircraft have made notable advancements. The Sukhoi Superjet 100 and the Irkut MC-21 are two examples of new aircraft that aim to compete with Western models in terms of performance and passenger experience. 
These planes incorporate modern technology and safety features, demonstrating Russia's commitment to evolving its aviation industry. However, breaking free from the historical baggage associated with Soviet-era planes remains a challenge. While these new aircraft have received positive reviews for their design and capabilities, they still face skepticism in international markets due to the lingering reputation of older Russian planes. The bad reputation of Russian planes is rooted in a complex history of outdated Soviet-era technology, inconsistent maintenance practices, and political perceptions shaped by the Cold War. While these factors have contributed to a negative public image, it is essential to recognize that Russian aviation has made significant strides in recent years. Newer models, such as the Sukhoi Superjet 100, show promise in redefining Russia's place in the global aviation industry. However, overcoming decades of negative perceptions and penetrating international markets will require continued innovation and consistent adherence to global safety standards. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.